This is the 7th grade worksheet for lesson 26 and I'll be covering it. Cameron is selling shirts. The price of each shirt was $8, but Cameron decides to increase the price by 7%. Then it gives you an expression and then you have to say, you have to find which other expression right here is equivalent. So we have K plus 0.7K. We would write that out here and we would put a 1 in front of the K because there is a 1 there, we just don't normally write it, but I just wrote it so we can see it visually. So we have 1k plus 0.07k, and you just add them together since they have both at the same variable. And you get 1.07k, so our answer is, uh, let's see, B. P is decreased by 9%, so if we write it out, P decreased 9 minus 9. By 9% and but we have to convert this 9% into a fraction or sorry not a fraction a decimal so we would to convert it to a, a decimal you divide 9 by 100 to get to 0 0.09 now we have P minus 0 0.09 P and we have to put a P there because it's decreased by 9%. So uh, this will be the whole and it's decreasing by 9%. So the variable for 0 0.09 would be P. And then let's put a 1 there just like, just like this. And you should get 0.91P, which is D. The dimension of a football field are P and Q. The expression 2P plus 2Q represents the perimeter of the football field, which expression also represents the perimeter of the football field. Now here, we have to just look at our answer choices. We have two, then parentheses P plus Q, two times P times Q, and then the rest. But let's look at our expression now. So we have two P plus two Q. And if we look here, here they just took out the two and they simplified it so it's two parentheses but if you were to distribute the two you would get this so a is definitely an answer b however this is two times p times q it's not an answer four times p times q that's not an answer and then this is not it so it should be a the profit of larry's company was p dollars last year the profit decreased by six percent this year Here's the expression, and it's asking for which expression below is the same. So we have P minus 6% P. Convert this 6% to a, a decimal, so we divide 6 by 100, and that gets you 0 0.06. So that means that you get 0 0.06 P, and then you should when you subtract it you should get 0.94p and c would be our answer okay so there are h hens and s sheep in the farm the expressions right here it's asking this is the same question it's asking which expression is the same so we have 2h plus 4s now let's look at our answer choices here they took out a 2, you have 2 times 2 times the parentheses h plus s. Now if you distribute this 2, you won't get this answer, so it's not it. 4 parentheses h plus s. If you distribute the 4, you would not get this because you get 4 times h, but you have a 2h there. Now here, 6 times h times s, that's not the correct answer because you're not multiplying. 2 times the parentheses h plus 2s. If you distribute the 2, you get 2h. Distribute the 2 here, you get 4s. So yeah, d is our answer. Simplify the expression. Write the expression using, write the answer using exponents. So to do this, you have 4 squared plus 4 to the power of 6. And you're multiplying them both. When you're multiplying two uh, numbers, so here, so first we have to look we have four and four they're the same base so you can multiply them together and simplify it so you have four squared times 
4 to the 6th power. And all you have to do is add the two exponents right here. This. You just add the 2 and the 6. So what's 2 plus 6? That's 8. So the answer would be 4 to the 8th power. And make sure you write the same base, which is 4. Same thing for number 2. 8 to the 5th and 8 to the to 8 squared. You, they have the same base, so you just do 5 plus 2. It's 8 to the 7th power. Here we have 3 cubed and times 3. Here, but here you don't see an exponent there, but really there is actually an exponent, which is just 1. Because 3 to the 1 power is 3. And then now you just add them together. So 3 plus 1, that's 3 to the 4th power. Same thing for number 4. There's a 1 here. 1 plus 5, that's 9 to the 6th. Here you have a negative 7 as your base, but that doesn't matter. You would still write it. So you have negative 7 for our base. 4 plus 5, that's 9. Same thing here. There's a 1 here. 6 plus 1, that's 7. So negative 6 to the 7. Here we have three numbers. So we would do, let's write the one there. So then we just add them all together. 4 plus 9 plus 1. We know 9 plus 1 is 10. 10 plus 4, that's 14. So that's 2 to the 14th power. So yeah. Um, try doing 8 through 12 on your own. Actually, no. I'm going to go over... You try doing 8 on your own. I'll go over a few of these two. And I'll write the answer for 8, though. Negative 3 to the 14th. So number 9, we have 3 to the 5th power, but then it's also, uh, it's also squared. When you have a problem like this, Instead of adding the two exponents, you multiply them. So you do 5 times 2, which is 10. So you get 3 to the 10th. Same thing for number 10. 4 times 3, so that's 12. So that's 7 to the 12th. Here we have 3 times 4. So that's 12 again. So you get negative 5 to the 12th power. 9 times 2, that's negative 8 to the 72 power. Wait, sorry, not 72. To the 18th power, because 9 times 2 is 18. So yeah, 